Hi guys, in today's video I am going to show you how to achieve the illusion of a super tall cake. This cake looks like it's just a super, super tall cake, but there's a trick to it. So in this video, I am going to show you how to do that. Because I wash my hands so often, my hands are always super dry. So whenever I use butter, I just do this. I rub it in so that my hands don't feel so dry. And that's probably why Leia loves licking my hands. Oh, this is gonna be delicious. I have baked three cakes and they are all tall. So now I'm gonna cut the tops off, cut them in half, and I am then going to start filling. All right, so the trick to the tall cake is that it's a two-layer cake. If, it, if we make it only one layer, the, the weight of it might make the second one collapse, the bottom one collapse. So we trick everybody into thinking it's one tall cake, but it's not. And I have a problem. The board is slightly too tall, so I am going to chop off some of that board. There it is. The trick to a super tall cake is two tiers. So that way you take no chance on the bottom cake collapsing, especially if you make it a uh, bigger size. This is only six inches, but imagine when you're working with eight or 10 inches. So now I am going to frost it again. 
um, do a nice smooth crumb coat, put it in the fridge, and then it will be ready to cover with fondant. So that's it. Let's make it smooth. All right, guess what? Cake is ready to go chill. I have my fondant, I have my rolling pin, some powdered sugar, and I'm gonna start rolling out my fondant because my cake is ready and cool. So let's do this, cover this cake in fondant. You guys see the big bubble? I'm going around removing bubbles right now and I am not worried about my imperfections because this cake will have a lot of decorations and it's also going to be painted so it will be very busy. Okay guys, that's it. The cake is covered in fondant the way it should be. Unfortunately, that's not an easy task and my fondant is super soft because I'm using the Renshaw. I probably should have used the Satin Ice, which is a little bit more firm, but does not matter because this cake is going to have a big, beautiful bow on top and I'm going to paint and put little flowers all over it. So there's gonna be plenty of stuff to cover up all my imperfections. So I am not going to go crazy and redo it. I am going to go put it in the fridge and make it, make it nice and cold so that it's ready to be handled again. And this is it. This is the super tall cake, painted, decorated, and ready to go. I hope you guys like the video. I hope you guys give it a try. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you like my video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for next video. Bye.